See that spot? I hope that isn't on the sensor. Because it can't be cleaned. This this camera you cannot get a sensor to clean it. Okay, this is how to um, partially take apart a Canon S95 and clean the sensor and the elements that are in front of the sensor. The sensor itself probably doesn't have anything on it because it's pretty pretty sealed. And so to avoid confusion, I'll be filming with this camera, Canon S95 that I fixed. Uh, it had a bad spot on it that you'll see in the video. But I'll be filming a camera that I had for eight years, the same camera, and it went bad. So this is what you're going to see in the film. This is what I'll be filming with, and right now I'm filming with a Canon 80D. Uh, the things you'll need are uh, a flat jeweler screwdriver and a Phillips uh, screwdriver. And, you know, a pair of tweezers and a piece of typing paper and a card. You'll, you'll see why. And then obviously like paper plate or a little bowl or something for the screws. Um, I forgot to mention, of course, the trusty bulb for blowing the camera out, a little brush, and I use my optivisors. These aren't that expensive. If you go get them, you'll get a lot of use out of them. Okay, so now I'm going to start filming with this camera on a tripod pointed at this camera that I've taken apart. Okay, the first order of business is your screwdriver. Draw it across a magnet to magnetize it. That way you can work with the little screws and put it in the head of the screw and stick them right in the holes. Otherwise there's no way to work with them. Okay, first thing you take out the screws from the periphery just like what you would think. Take them out and set them on a paper plate like I've got over here. Okay, then this comes off. It doesn't snap or anything, it just comes off. Okay, then you're going to be looking at that. Okay, next. Now it's already out, but next you're going to see this screw right here that holds this, this bracket. It's going to be one screw. Take it out. Set it to the side. Now that's this thing here is still going to be laying just like that. Okay, so this lifts up. It lifts up like that. But it's still going to be caught on the top because it's got a little foot. And so I'll, I'll show you. You see that little foot? That foot goes under a little receptacle. And so if you pull, this thing is too flimsy. And so it won't pull out. Instead, take something and push. Push against this bracket. And then it pushes that foot out of its hole. There you go. So this is one screw and one foot. Set it to the side. Okay, now your display is uh, free to come out, but it's also held in by two feet. One foot is here, one foot is there. For that reason, when you first lift, it seems like it's caught, like it doesn't want to come out, and you can't figure out why. That's because it's got a foot here and a foot here, so this, you have to nudge it this way, and then it lifts out. So, nudge nudge it in that direction and the little feet come out and then it's it's loose lay it over don't unplug anything okay now there's there's the back of your sensor it's held down with three screws two of which are are out i put this one in for demo purposes i put it back in okay now these these three screws one two and three, they have little wax type glue so that Canon can tell if you violated the camera. But the glue is made to come loose. And so you 
you take out those three screws see how the having it magnetized a little bit it holds on to the screw okay so there's my one demo screw set it to the side okay now you take a, a flat screwdriver and get under the lip and pop it up now this one has already been out but when when you go under there and cautiously pop that thing up it does break the glue loose it's it's designed uh, to come loose okay now on this camera this one kind of held on this. See that little spring? A word about that in a minute. But this one really held on. But when you pry this up, it does break the glue loose. Now there could be little bits of glue. You don't want those to fall down into the camera, so I don't know if you want to uh, put the camera upside down when you pop this loose. But this is designed to come loose, to come up okay and then you cautiously lay it over uh, don't freak out about your sensor the sensor is coated with glass and other coatings the actual surface of the sensor itself when you wipe it off you're really not wiping the sensor also this the sensor seals up against this boot that's actually here I should have put that in it seals against that boot so it's very unlikely you have anything on the sensor itself but it doesn't hurt to wipe it clean okay so you lay that over lay that over to the side I'm kind of abusing this one because it's a discard camera okay now this uh, this rubber grommet grab it with tweezers and it pulls right out now this one just lifts out because it's been out when you pull it up it's not glued in or anything you just pull it up it comes out set that to the side okay now there's there's three springs one you see laying out because I didn't put it back in but they're gonna be one two three springs take take those springs and set them to the side that way you can turn the camera upside down and blow it out uh, without the springs dropping out. Because if you move the camera, the springs, they come right out. They just sit loose in, the, in their pockets. You'll, you'll see them. Okay. Now in here, after you've got the sensor pulled up over to the side, this, this little glass thing is going to be sitting down in there. Okay, see, see this? After you pull the rubber boot up, that glass is sitting down there loose in its little receptacle. It's just in a little square, shaking around loose. I think it's called infrared filter, maybe. Okay, lift that out. Set it to the side. Um, as a matter of fact, see, here it is. set it to the side you're going to be wiping both sides of that off okay now turn the camera upside down and use your uh, your whatchamacallit use common sense to to blow out the camera a little bit do that first not after okay now you start cleaning you take one of these I trim this with scissors this is for my Canon 80D so it's actually you know my sensor in that camera is like that big so I, I just trim this down. You, you put the correct fluid on there, one drop to barely wet it, and go in there and wipe that thing down, down in there. That down in there is likely what has the crud on it because that's the last thing before the, the camera is opened up to the lens in the front of the camera. So wipe that off. Okay, now... You take your typing paper, 
and a card. Put your little, little uh, whatever it's called on there, filter. Okay, and so put your drop of stuff on here. That should already be on there. And then that card gives you a little ledge. And so you go wipe, wipe, wipe until you're happy. Flip it over. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Okay. Now that's clean. Cautiously put it back in. Put it back in and it drops right down into the little receptacle. Okay. Then put your rubber boot back on. Position the rubber boot. You're going to go, wow, I can't get it in there. I can't get it in tight like it was. Well, the reason it was tight was because this here was squashing down on it. And over the years, it kind of got set down in there. But you put, put that down in there, position it as best you can. Okay. Now, wipe off your sensor. Wipe off the sensor very cautiously. Okay. Now you're done cleaning the camera. Okay. Put the three little springs back in. In their little, little pockets. One, two, and three. Put the springs back in. Take the sensor. Cautiously. Just set it back down and position it over the holes. And then... The thing to watch out for here is that glue. The glue that was here, here, and here. If it didn't break completely free, it could have left like a little ledge. Um, or, you know, it's kind of bendy, kind of like plastic. And so when you put these down on there, that fits over a pin right here. See where I'm pointing? There's one pin there, and there's one pin here that goes in the slot. And so that glue, I don't know if you want to try to get that glue off of there, because if you do, you're taking a chance of getting that stuff down in the camera. I didn't. But what I had to do on uh, my camera, not this one I'm working on, but the same camera, is I went like this and I had to fit that down in there so that this one kind of fit under the glue so that it went down just like it was. So when, when you put this on here, uh, don't crush down on a slight smidgen of that glue. Okay, so put the three screws back in and they, they tighten down and it pushes that rubber boot down into place and it holds that one lens into place and also it seals the sensor. Now the sensor is hermetically sealed. Okay, so you've got the three screws in, you've got your springs back in and except for putting them back together, you're done. Okay, so now this is this is held down with the screws. You you take your display, put it back over there, and now remember on the display, you kind of put it this way, hold it down, and then move it this way so those feet come in, one foot here and one foot here. That's what moves it into the correct position. Oh. Okay, where's my uh Where'd my bracket go? Where did the bracket go? There it is. Okay, so you're almost done. Take your bracket. Stick the foot in up there first. Swivel this down. Put that screw back in. Okay. Take the case. Put the case back on. Push it down into position and put the periphery screws back in. You're done. That's all that there is to it. So a brief overview. Take the case off. Uh, take the screw out. Take the bracket off. Take your display. Fold it over. Take the three screws out for the sensor. Pop it up. Lift it over. Take out the springs, pull this rubber boot out with tweezers, take the little plastic, uh, glass thing out, clean both sides of it, and clean the other thing down in there too. Put it back in, put the boot back in, put this back down, put the screws back in, put that on.
put the case on, done. That's all that there is to it. Now, when I did my camera, the one that I'm actually filming with, uh, you think I didn't take the thing and turn it upside down and and blow with this thing, hoping that I did, nothing got up in there and clean out dirt that was in there? You bet I did. <laughs> After all, the camera was a throwaway as it was. And I also took, you know, these little, I think this is a woman's face brush, but you get these little brushes, they're great. But I, I went in here, I cleaned that stuff out. There was a little dander in there. Uh, I blew it out with a camera upside down. You better believe I did all that stuff. Uh, okay, I, uh, I think that's it. This, this procedure, by the way, is not abusing the camera. It, it really isn't. If they clean that sensor and those lenses down in there, this is how they do it. That is how they're going to do it. They just use proper tools really expensive tools and stuff like that so if the cameras are throw away anyway why not clean that sensor and this probably applies to most cameras if that sensor and those lenses went in there then you can get at them uh, this this camera here that stopped working after eight years uh, at the end I'll throw in some pictures of how this looked in here all corroded and underneath the the access thing here how it looked I'll, I'll throw in a few pictures at the end to show you the condition of this actual camera this one not fixable okay now one thing I want to mention the three screws that hold the sensor in they're different they're visibly different you can look at the head of the screw and it looks kind of malformed the, where the Phillips screwdriver goes in, kind of malformed, but you can visibly see they're different. If you put the wrong screw in, I tried it as a test, it won't go in. But maybe mark these with a felt pin, you know, put a, a dot of felt pin on them to identify them or keep them, keep them separate. Because they're all, they look similar.